Hello again, everyone. I'm Matt. And I'm Chels. And today, we're here for new Marilyn Manson. There have been so many returns this year. We saw that Manson's back. Um, we haven't checked out any of his newest singles, so we thought, why not check out his latest one, Sacrilegious? That's why we're here. Right. And this is off of his upcoming album, One Assassination Under God, Chapter One, which is a fascinating name um i don't know i know he was out on tour with five finger death punch and slaughter to prevail having like a comeback you know thing going on which is awesome i bet I, that was a cool tour i've listened to Marilyn manson since like the late 90s um first song i'm gonna be honest was and i'm sure a lot of people are gonna say the same thing the remake of house on haunted hill where the Sweet Dreams cover was played. It was like, oh my God, who the fuck is this? And then it was all downhill from there. Yep. I see. The official <laughs> video link will be in the description box. We have some links down there as well. And please don't forget to like and subscribe. As a kid from the Midwest, who lived in the Midwest at the time, and was very sheltered from music like that, uh, but very horror oriented. He had everything I was looking for. So it was, it was, it was quick love. Let's check out Sacrilegious. Dude, he's looking good. Dude, this has an old school vibe. Do you think that coffin's gossiping? All of your ghosts are blind. I like how catchy that is. <laughs> the way they layer with his creepy raspy vocals, I fucking love that shit, man. It's so creepy. And eerie, but fun. Yeah, it's got a lot of depth to it. It does. <laughs> it's good. Dude, this is this has an old school Manson vibe. Not at all what I was expecting. Um, we'll get into that after. Ooh, that line. Right?
Dude, I've got chills right now. Manson's back. That was the most Manson track I think he's put out. And I mean, we've missed the last two. Mm. But, man. I liked that. That one was catchy. Had some good lines in there. Was a lot of fun. He's got a new band. I don't know why I didn't mention that to begin with. Like, a whole new band behind him, including Reba Myers from Code Orange, which is fucking awesome for her. Yeah, we've seen her live, and mm-hmm. she's really good with a different band. Code Orange. Oh, well, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> uh, dude, that was that was great. Uh, to be real, Manson kind of fell off my radar after The Pale Emperor. I didn't really... The others just didn't click with me. Um but I just the evolution of his sound has has always fascinated me. This is uh, like back to form for for Manson, to me at least. Um, yeah, that was that was a great track. Should we check out any of the other two? I don't know. You tell us what what you think. You also tell us what you thought in the comments down below. And here's a fun thing to ask: What are your top three? Marilyn Manson albums. I'd ask you, but we know that. I was going to tell a story. Let's do that. So my first introduction to Marilyn Manson wasn't even his music, but it was circa 2002. And it was a Christian band whose name I can't think of, but they had a song called Marilyn Manson ate my girlfriend. And I remember thinking, I don't know who this dude is, but he must be nuts. And then when I started listening to him, I was like, I understand why these religious people do not like Marilyn Manson. (laughs) But it kind of came full circle with this song, Sacrilegious, because that's where... (laughs) That's where it started for me, was them being like, please stay away. Stay away from this demonic man. Outstanding full circle story, because that really is, because you're a... You know, you've turned into a fan. I've showed you a lot of his work over the years. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yep. So that's where it all began for me. And well, here we are now. I mean, to be real, my parents were pretty, I was sheltered from a lot of hip hop and uh, Marilyn Manson, he was part of that too, because in the 90s, Columbine happened and everyone, you know, did the whole point finger shit. Had to find a scapegoat and right. use Marilyn Manson. Yep. Exactly. So it's really fucked up. Um, That's really what that song that I heard was about as well. Yeah. Like blaming it on him. Right? It's it's fucked up. But I like how he's like, nope, I'm just going to own it. Here's a song called Sacrilegious. <laughs> it was great. Yeah. Okay. So for me, I, I was thinking, uh, for me, top three would be, hmm. Probably the high end of low. Antichrist superstar and smells like children. Yeah. That one's just smells like children was the first album I listened to and it's fucked, but it's got an outstanding cover on it, which brought me, it was brings me to it. something else. I really hope there's another cover on this album because Marilyn Manson kills covers he really does every fucking one he does and he picks really good ones to cover too he does yep anyway thank you all for watching and we'll see you on the next one bye